Hello, welcome to ericquestions.com YouTube channel. My name is Elif Bayram. Today I prepared a brand new PJM question for you. So let's dive in. A company is renovating a community health clinic to modernize its interior while adhering to a strict budget. After the schedule is developed, the following changes occur. A permitting delay extends the planning and permits by one week. A shipment delay pushes the HVAC installation by two weeks. And lastly, a structural issue in the waiting area adds two more weeks to its renovation. When will the project be completed? Please pause the video if you would like to work on your answer, but I'm going to continue with the solution. Let's start with reviewing the scan chart first. If you are going to take PJM exam, you should expect a few similar questions like this. A GAN chart technically shows the duration of different activities in a bar graphic. So here we see that planning and permits is going to take five weeks, treatment room upgrades is going to take 12 weeks, waiting area expansion is going to take another 12 weeks, HVAC installation is also going to take 12 weeks, and final inspections and testing is going to take two weeks, and lastly, project completion needs another week. So originally, this project was supposed to be completed in 26 weeks. But as you know, we have some changes. When it comes to GAN charts, there are two types of activities that you need to know. One is a dependent or sequential activity, which means an activity depends on another activity to start. And two is concurrent activity, which means two activities or three activities can take place at the same time. So they don't need to wait for each other to get completed. So here, when we get back to our chart again, we see that treatment room upgrades is a dependent activity, it depends on planning and permits process to be completed. It cannot start before that. Similarly, final inspections and testing has to wait for HVAC installation to get completed. And project completion has to wait for final inspections and testing get completed. So these three activities are dependent on another activity. If an activity requires another activity to finish before it can start, these two activities are called sequential. The latter activity cannot start before the predecessor activity is complete. If two activities can take place at the same time without being dependent on each other, these are called concurrent activities. For example, here, waiting area expansion and HVAC installation are concurrent activities. So if we get back to the question, we know that the treatment room upgrades are dependent on the completion of planning and permits. So if we have a one week delay in planning and permits, that would shift the treatment room upgrades by one week as well, because these are dependent activities, right? The second thing we know is the waiting area expansion is extended by two weeks, but the treatment room upgrades, waiting area expansion, and HVAC installation are concurrent activities, so they are not dependent on each other. So this extension of two weeks does not impact the overall completion duration of this project. The second important thing here is final inspections and testing cannot start before the HVAC installation is complete. So we know that HVAC installation is backed by two weeks. This will also push the final inspection and testing process because final inspection and testing is dependent on the HVAC installation activity. And lastly, we know that the project cannot be completed before final inspection and testing are done since the final inspection and testing process is pushed by two weeks because of the HVAC installation delay. The project completion also will be pushed by two weeks. So the new completion date should be 28 weeks. So let's review what we just discussed again. The one week delay in the permitting process only delays the treatment room upgrades, but the HVAC installation is not dependent on treatment room upgrades. So this would not have an impact on the completion date. So regardless of the delay in the permitting process, we are still at 26 weeks. When we move to the next item, which says the two week delay in the HVAC process, right? This two week delay in the HVAC shipment delays the completion of the entire project by two weeks, as I explained, because the 
inspection and testing and project completion are dependent on HVAC to get complete. So when you add this two weeks to the 26 weeks, now you are at 28 weeks. I know here there's a tricky part, which is the delay in the waiting area expansion. The waiting area expansion is a concurrent activity with the HVAC installation. So it doesn't have an impact on the overall schedule. Another important part here to remember is, even though the treatment room upgrade is pushed by one week because of the delay in the planning and permit process, that is not have an impact on the start of the HVAC installation. Because HVAC installation is not dependent on the completion of the treatment room upgrade. That's why even though there is another delay, another week of delay in the planning and permit phase, this does not have an impact in the overall schedule. So neither the delay in the permit process nor the structural issue of the waiting area expansion would have an impact on the project completion date. So here what's important to remember on a Gantt chart is what is a dependent activity and what is a concurrent activity. I highly suggest in the exam to visualize these revisions or these delays in the schedule. So not just go by numbers, right? Because easily you could say, oh, there's a two weeks delay in the shipment of HVAC, there's a two week delay because of the structural issue, and there's another one week, so that's five weeks, right? No, it doesn't work that way. If an activity can concurrently take place when another activity or activities are also under construction, it doesn't get impacted by the changes in these other activities. So that's what you need to remember and that's what's the most important part or the trickiest part with these type of questions. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed this question. Please let me know in the comments what you think of the question. Until I see you with a new question, I wish you all best of luck with your studies and exams. Have a great day. Bye-bye.